Hey guys, so this is going to be my uh, five favorite bags. And I've wanted to make this video for a while, but I had to wait for a couple of bags. So each one of these kind of serves a different purpose. And I'm gonna start here with the Boss 4. So I love the Boss 4 backpack. It is one of my favorite bags. And the reason that I love this bag so much is because it, it I love the pockets, first of all, kind of the setup of it. So move this out of the way, apologies. I wasn't gonna make this video and then I thought to hell with it. Um, so in here you have incredible amounts of room, okay? I love this backpack for traveling. I like this backpack for when I'm going with my kids somewhere and we're gonna be gone all day and I need to carry a lot of stuff. Um, I've used this traveling several times over. I love uh, this backpack when we're going to the park and we're gonna be there for a long period of time. I have this set up to where these are inside instead of on the outside. Instead of having, having these out here, I've set it up so that they are in here and it makes it a lot easier to close the bag. The other thing I love that is my favorite are all of these pockets. And I have a particular way that I figured out of um, closing that, closing up this bag. So, I, or setting it up and closing it up. So I like to put my phone right here. I like to, and just have my phone here. I like to have my key clay in here. I like to have In here, I'll put one of two things. I'll either um, put my keys and some bits and bobs in there. So treat this kind of like another, you know, little, um, what do you call it? Kind of another little bag. Cause I do have a lot of my items. I think we all are doing that now. We figured out the best way to help organize our bags, especially if we have a big bag, is to use small bags within the bag, right? And so instead of doing that, I'll maybe use this and house, you know, different things in here that I wanna access quickly. So I'll put gum, my keys, um, I will put maybe a lipstick or chapstick. So things that I need to access quite quickly. Then here, on this side, um, pocket, which is my favorite. I'm sorry, I don't have a tripod, so this makes it really kind of hard. Um, is putting my sunglasses in here because these everything that I have on the outside is going to be things that I want. These bags are just not cooperating today, huh? Uh, things that I want to access quite quickly, right? Um, and, oh, I didn't even realize that the date code was back there. Uh, things that I want to access quite quickly. So I And this has a lot of room, so let me just kind of give you an idea here. Here's my Kindle. I can put my Kindle in here. This is a fail, but I'm gonna just work with it. So I can put my Kindle in here and I can zip it up. There we go, I just had to kind of shove around it. So that kind of gives you a good idea of how much will fit. This is the eight inch, the newer version of the Kindle and that fits in there nicely. So that this space is really incredible. It, you know, you wanna be careful though, it's gonna, you know, kind of bulge into here a little bit. Not a lot, you can kind of, here's my Kindle right here, you can see the outline of it. So you wanna be careful what you put in there, but I like to put my wallet in here, I like to put my sunglasses in here, um, and anything else like that that I want to keep close to me. So that's why I would prefer this for my wallet. I wouldn't put it out here, right, because it's gonna be on my back, but here I can put it in. And then the other thing I could do, that I have done is you can get some kind of, like, let me take my lottery charm. You can use a, a charm, you know, to kind of further help protect it. Hold on, let's see. Okay, so you can use a charm here, put it on this. This is too small of a charm, but it just gives you an idea. Put it on here and also connect it into here, okay? So you connect it into there and that way it, you know, if somebody were to, for some crazy reason, try to get in here, you have it closed like this. And this will act kind of as an alarm. Uh, but I don't even see that happening. Somebody would have to really kind of be really sneaky 
I don't put it past them. So I like this idea whenever I have gone going somewhere and I'm gonna have it on my back and there's gonna be a big crowd, I will lock it up with a keychain. Like, I hope you get the idea of putting it in here, through here, right? Right in here also, I'll connect the two and then that'll keep it closed, okay. So I hope you can see why I love the Boss 4. It's one of my favorites. Now, let's stay on backpacks, okay? Because, and I'm not a backpack girl, but I am when it comes to these backpacks. So this is a piece that I just got recently. I've actually had it before, but I didn't care for some of the alignment on the outside. There was some problems with alignment. Um, so this is the PM Palm Springs. And I love this bag because it's a good size bag for everyday use, okay? So this would be a great bag for, you know, acting as a purse. You're not gonna be able to put nearly as much, obviously, in here as you would with my Boss 4. But I love the fact that it has this back pocket and I have a, a particular way of packing this baby too. I like to put my Neverfull pochette you know, the pouch that comes with the Neverfull, I put it back here and then I pack it according to the way that I need items. So of course, the items that I need the most are gonna go towards the front. I love to carry this this way, okay? Now, I wasn't a fan of these for a very long time, but when you have a lot of items in this bag and you can stuff this and it can carry a good amount and it's heavy, you then absolutely love these things. Let me get this paper out of the way. You absolutely fall in love with these um, because they are so soft and you don't feel the weight on your back. So I really love this bag as an everyday, you know, kind of bag uh, for, particularly when I'm going like, let's say to a volleyball game, basketball game, even, you know, going for a walk in the park. So this would be for shorter outings you know, where I don't need to carry as much. And the Boss 4 would definitely be for longer outings. So, I love this bag. Okay, the next bag is my Givenchy Antigona. And man, what can I say about this bag? This is just a classy, you know, Boss bag. This is, you know, in my opinion, you see this and you think that is a boss bitch. And I mean that with kind of all love, you know, um, this is a serious bag. And I, I love it because I can wear this, you know, dressed up for work, dressed nicely, which I don't really dress, you know, I, I, you know, teach college and so it's more laid back, but there are times where I have to meet with deans or meet with, you know, um, uh, board members and so I do want to look really great or I co-author a textbook and I need to meet with editors and um, so I want to look great this is my bag so I'm just giving you examples of ways that I use each of these bags how they function in my life um, but given that even though this is a great bag for work and to look serious and I like that it doesn't have any screaming logos. It just has the Givenchy here. You could turn it around uh, and go from the back and nobody would know what bag this was. Unless you were into bags, you would know the shape. But I just love that it's nice and understated. This bag is also, in my opinion, great with jeans and a t-shirt. And it just kind of dresses it up. It's edgy, it's classy. So. I love this. You have a back pocket, a zipper back pocket. And again, just like with all my others, I have a very particular way in which I pack this. So I'll put my keys in there. And then you have two pockets. Let's see, it's gonna be hard because it is a black hole. So I'm trying to get into the light. There, you can see it a little bit. You have two holes, <laughs> two holes. You have two pockets. You have one kind of longer pocket here. And then you have the smaller, like with the give. I don't know how to how to explain this, but you can see it. And so what I will put in here sometimes will be my phone. Here I will often put, you know, or I'll put my sunglasses. Here I'll just put, you know, maybe sometimes nothing often, or I'll just put like a lip gloss, or I put my honest um, uh, hand sanitizer in here, and then you know just throw everything else in. Um, I love the chunky zipper 
It's so smooth. It's hard to do with just one hand, but it is one of the smoothest zippers. It's just that the way kind of the um, setup is of these handles, it's kind of hard to do it, you know, with one hand because they're so close together. But look how gorgeous this hardware is. And I love that, I was just gonna say, this is the only thing, sometimes, I don't know what it is, this does fall off quite easily. Like, it's fallen off on me a couple of times, not when I've worn it, it's just happened a couple of times, but I don't know, it's just like, I guess, because of the way sometimes I've moved the, moved the um, strap, but it's, it's only been a few times, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, but I love, love, love the setup of this. I love that I can take the, I would never take this off. You know, even if I'm just wearing this, you know, I like to just hold it top handle because I like the way that looks. I love the option of my strap, particularly if I'm with my kids and I, you know, need to be hands-free or, you know, be able to, um, you know, be shopping or something and not have to deal with my bag. So that is a great bag, we love her. Now, this is my newer baby, and if you know me at all, you know that I am a never full fanatic. Okay, that is my main bag. I have the trifecta, um, and I love the never full because it is just a carefree bag. So let me get my other two, I should have brought them out. I have my Damier Bean with the Rose Ballerine interior, and this is my favorite bag. I had to hunt this girl down. I had a hard time finding it. A subby helped me find it. So I love this bag, and she is never gonna leave my collection. She'll fall apart before I do that. And then I also have it in the Azure with the Rose Ballerine. And with these colors, this is what drove me to become a pink fanatic. So I love, love um, the Azure and the Damier Bean with the Rose Ballerine. Those are my favorite. And so everyone who knows me knows that I love uh, Neverfull. And I'm hoping to add an Epi. Um, and I'm also looking to add one of the newer big printed Neverfulls the monogram with the big print. Um, I think, you know, I definitely would like an epi in the pink, um, the light ba rose ballerine, or the black with the hot pink inside, but I prefer the rose ballerine. So this baby is my newest, and it's not for everybody, okay? This is the Patches Limited Edition, um, 2018 Limited Edition, and I put my initials on there, and I wanted to do something different, and so I put, my initials in silver. I'm a silver hardware girl, but of course my Louis Vuitton bags, I have um, gold. I do have, I can't wait to share it when it does come in, I do have a silver hardware Louis coming in and I can't wait to, to share that. But this bag, look at this, I love this. I did this on my Instagram, I showed, you know, like this is just unbelievable. You know, you've got, then you've got, these are on the bag itself, right? I forgot what they're called, screen printing. You know, then look at this beauty. I love that pink. That's why I decided to put my initials here. Plus, I like to have my pocket in the front. This is where I like to, I put this side near my body and this side on the outside so I can easily reach in for items in the pocket. This is also screen printed. And then, um, over here, you have this beautiful patch. This patch, I love this color of this screen printing of the LV. Love this patch. This one, I, I, I mentioned, I'm a little worried about this one because of, um, you know, you can see these are delicate, you know, so I'm a little bit worried about it, but I love it. Um, and then this is screen printed as well, this beautiful green. This one I love too. So. I just love the detail of it. I feel like it gives it an edge, that it is classic, you know, monogram, and for that it is gorgeous. And then, you know, to have these these patches that kind of, in my mind, they look like tattoos. And that's why I liked it, because I do love that, you know, edginess with this classic monogram. And then you have the Pavone interior. And as you can see, 
I am currently using my bag. Um, so there's that. And then the last, because this is my top, this is my top five, right? This beauty. Oh, I love her so much. And I have not used her very much. I get nervous about using her. Um, and the only reason I haven't rocked her lately is just because I haven't um, had the opportunity. So my Neverfull just came in, so I'm using her right now. But she is one of my favorites. I mean, all of these are my favorites. You know, these are my top five favorite bags. Um, but I love the Artsy. I hope to get a monogram. That's how much I love it. So I stuffed it to help keep the shape. Let me get this out of here. Yeah, I didn't realize I was going to have that hard of a time, so my apologies. I need to get a tripod. I, if you know me, I've been saying that for a long ass time. Maybe some subby will just send me a tripod feeling sorry for me. They're not expensive. It's just I forget. And then I did buy one and of course my girls broke it. Uh, story of my life. So I love this bag. I love it. It Look, I, <laughs> I want to cry when I look at that. So I did get a lot of this is just like, I don't know. I don't know. I took the, where did I take this that I have some like literally I have grass in there um, I don't know and there's like some confetti and but look at that I got pink pin in there oh my god so it is what it is right there's nothing I can do about it, it it's happened but I love the back pocket here it is so big um, just again to kind of show you what did I do with my Kindle you can actually Fit the Kindle in there. Look, I'm gonna bear with me. I'm getting it out of my boss for. And I didn't think through this video because I was I just decided at the last minute to do it. But I just want to show you how big that pocket is because it doesn't look that big, but it is. So I can fit my Kindle in there. Watch. Just put this down. So I can use my two hands. There, so I can fit my Kindle in there nicely um, and zip that up. I don't know why it's not cooperating. And then I love that you have one, two, three pockets on one side. And then you have one, two, three pockets on the other side. So six pockets and then you have the zip pocket that makes seven pockets in this beautiful girl. And so when I use this bag, that is my favorite part of it is the organization. Um, oh, let me take this out again. I don't know why it's sticking. Yeah, so the organization part of this beautiful bag is one of my favorite uh, things about it because it is so easy to not have to worry. I stick my items in a certain way and I've been having problems with this zipper. Um, there we go. It's been getting stuck. Um, but I can stick my items in a certain way and be organized and then, you know, it is a black hole. It does get heavy. It can get heavy. But you know, she surprisingly, I carry this on my uh, shoulder and I feel like it's very comfortable. So I don't have a problem with it. I don't really utilize this, especially since now I have my six ring key holder back again because if you've been on my Instagram, you know that my dog chewed up my monogram Rose Ballerine six uh, key holder. And so I did get a new one um, just recently. Now the thing about this one too, as you can see, it's starting to do it right now. That's the reason that I put this in here. It has some error bags in it and um, I stuff it inside to help keep it shape because it it doesn't if it doesn't have stuff in it just turns into a puddle okay so you know the stuff inside of it does help to keep it you know structured but other than that it's just gonna fall over and not look great and then part of that problem too is that I didn't have it uh, stuffed for a very long time so I don't know if that's played a part because it used to do it I swear it used to stand up so I'm not sure why it's not anymore. I love the fact that you have feet down here. So um, that makes me very happy. You know, you don't want your bag sitting down directly on 
anything. Um, and there's going to be times where I can't set it in, you know, another chair or whatever. I have to set it on the floor, which I hate, but sometimes it has to be done. So I love this bag, you know, and treat it kind of the same way I do the Neverfull. Um, and so, but because the Neverfull, in my opinion, is more carefree, this one is heavier thanks to the handle. Um, I don't use it as much as the Neverfull. Uh, but I love it. It's my favorite in terms of looks. I just think it's gorgeous. It's the prettiest bag in my collection. So those are my five favorites. You know, um, we have the the beautiful Neverfulls here. You know, and right now, of course, my favorite is my newbie, uh, the patches, and it is very full right now. And then I love a good backpack, which would be my Palm Springs PM. You know, for everyday purse use. Um, then my uh, Boss 4, uh, which is great for traveling and for, especially if you have children, you know, you're going all day to the park, you're running, you know, out of town. This is a great overnight bag. It holds a ton. And I used to have the Palm Springs MM, and I did love that bag, but the Boss 4 holds more. It can hold my laptop, my thir uh, 13 inch laptop in it and a ton more. Whereas the uh, Palm Springs MM did hold my laptop, but then I didn't have as much room. Um, and then I like the organization of these outside pockets. And then my classy girl, kind of my, you know, like I said, this is my uh, bitch bag, my boss bag. This is, I'm a boss lady. I feel strong. I feel proud when I wear my Givenchy Antigona. And I'm actually looking to get this bag in the medium. I think I really, really want the pink. I'm so dying for that bag. In the fro, if you watch her, she had it years ago. Um, she's a great uh, uh, YouTuber and she writes a blog and she had the medium in the pink many, many, many years ago. Um, I think I wanna say like three years ago, maybe more, maybe four. And she did get a different one because if I remember correctly, she took out the pink one and it rained and the uh, bag turned blue. I don't know what happened. She, it was a freak situation. She took it back to G Givenchy and they too did not know what happened. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'm sorry for some of the foul ups. I really honestly did this just kind of on the fly and didn't think it through well enough. Uh, but these are um, my favorite five bags you know, in terms of style and function, they all function differently. These are, I already gave you those functions of these and my Neverfull and my Artsy. This is my most beautiful bag. This is my most functional in terms of I love a tote. So I hope everybody enjoyed that. This is Mommy Loves Bags. Hope you have a good weekend, a good night. And I would love it if you give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends about me. And I appreciate it. Bye. Thank you.